Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and joy of the Holy Oof. Ghost. Of course we have joy but it is not the joy of money. Joy is a different word. It is something more than pleasure. Many times people are looking for pleasure not for joy. Pleasure is something that satisfies your body and bodily appetites. But joy is not that. Joy is something that is in the spirit. Joy touches your spirit. Hallelujah. The things with the pleasure of this flesh. It's only for some moments or some hours. Suppose you are having a meal from a seven star hotel. You are eating and eating and eating. Finally, you know, you are in pleasure. And you go home. And do you think for the next one week you are not eating? No. Next day you will be hungry. Am I right? That is the problem with pleasure. But joy is something different. The pleasure decreases and decreases and decreases and finally it is vanished. But joy, it is abounding and abounding and bubbling and bubbling and it increases. Hallelujah. The pleasures of this world will give a diminishing pleasure but the Holy Spirit will give you abounding joy. The kingdom of Israel is giving you pleasure, but the kingdom of God is giving you joy. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are emphasizing not on the kingdom of Israel, we are emphasizing on the kingdom of God. Yes. Yesterday we heard about the Pentecostal project. Jesus said, when you receive power from on high, you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Yes. It starts with Jerusalem, but it goes on and goes on and finally, till the ends of the earth, it reaches. It is a gigantic project. It is a global project. No company have ever taken this kind of project in their lifetime. It is so gigantic, but at the same time, it is so exclusive jesus wanted his disciples the poor galilean fishermen to take this gigantic project Sir. but you know what he is saying he is not saying okay we have a gigantic project okay you may go no he is not saying like that he asked them to wait so today we are thinking about the pentecostal discipline the pentecostal discipline is tarrying or waiting in acts chapter verse 1 verse 4 and while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you heard from me, from, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So Jesus is asking his disciples to wait. Do not depart from Jerusalem. Wait, sit. This is the Pentecostal discipline. The world cannot understand the, the meaning or the good in waiting or tarrying. The world is always asking people to work, 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 work. But God asked his disciples to wait. So this is something that the world cannot understand. Wait for what? For the promise of the Father. So it is given by the Father. The Holy Spirit is given by the Father. And that's the reason why in John chapter 14, Jesus says, And I will ask the Father, and he will send you another counselor to be with you forever. So Jesus is asking his disciples to wait for that Holy Spirit. And he says, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 